Come in. Thank you. Okay. Seeing no one's coming to business for a while, we're going to make a video and show you our apartment. That's the door. We just came through it. Let's go. Into the kitchen. Nice and bright and airy, light. Yes. Kitchen. Has the usual things. Fridge. Fridge. Stove. Stove. With oven. Stove with oven, unlike China, yes. We have cooked a few decent meals there. That opens. Okay, so this is the kitchen. And there's the calendars that we one of the calendars. One of the calendars. For Christmas. Okay. And, and there, if you have a look over here, there's the Mossy Millers. The Mossy Millers there. And there's, hang on, there's cards up here from more Mossy Millers. There's there. a card. And on the fridge, Caitlin, is your lovely artwork. Right down the bottom. There you go. All right. Over here is my number from the first and only fun run that I've ever done. We've just come back from doing the Dubai Standard Chartered Marathon. We did a four kilometre fun run. Lorraine finished in what, about 29 minutes? 29 minutes. I think I finished in about, I don't know. 32. 32 minutes, I think. Um, spare bathroom, this is the third bathroom. Toilet. Toilet bathroom. This is, I think, meant to be for the maid. This is probably a uh, so, spare okay. shower. Your own house. Alright, mm. and in here this is just general junk room. There's also our laundry. There's a laundry basket. Mop bucket, very interesting. Here's where we've managed with our plastic tubs to keep all of our camping gear and stuff. Washing machine. More hangers. This is where we keep the better class plastic hangers. I'll get out of the way. Yes. Alright, so, so there's our laundry. It's fairly small. I'm sure this is supposed to be the maid's room too, yeah, actually. This probably is the maid's room. All right. With that dining area, you new table. No, nothing wrong with the way the school's furnished the apartment. It's dodgy. But we've at least got... It's Ikea. Place. Yeah, it's Ikea, but it's a bit small. Um, yes, computer stuff. Um, on this wall, come around this way, there is one of our carpets. I chose that one. It's an old yeah. Iranian one, I think. It's about, it's Iranian, it's about uh, 60 years old. And you can see in the middle the blues, slightly different shade in the middle, and that shows that it's made with natural dyes. And yeah. uh, apparently it's quite a good one from a good, with a good uh, name on it, so this isn't silk. In China we bought furniture, here we bought ourselves a little bit of carpet, which are these probably be our major purchases while we're in the Middle East. I'm thinking. Mm. I don't think we need any more furniture. Here's our lounge. We're just going to go and take somewhere else. Our couch, IKEA stuff. This is really good. They even become beds. It took us a while to discover this. It ratchet in there and it becomes a bed. So if there's snoring issues in the inside, someone can come and sleep out here. If you turn around mm. this way, we picked up our bookshelf and put a few things on it. No, books. Another rubbish. Another crap. Yeah. TV. Picture. Bedroom number two. Shana and um, Lorraine's friend Martin have slept here. We haven't actually used it. Martin didn't. We were in here when he did. Um, oh, yeah, drying clothes. So. Is that air mattresses from camping and. We promise if you come to visit, we'll tidy it up a bit and. Yeah. Uh, we'll throw a sheet or something over all the boxes and stuff. And, you know, make it a bit more livable. But the bed's quite comfortable. And if you go to the other side of the room and look back, there's all the built-ins we've got. So it's actually all right for storage. Better than the yeah, last place we've had without these terrible little things. We've got all our mm. built-ins in these two bedrooms. So we've got plenty of space here. The big table underneath was something that we decided to move out of the lounge because we spent money on a carpet and didn't want to... Cover it up. Cover it up with a crappy IKEA table. So this, we store our beer and we dry our clothes and a few more bags and things and... That's not a bad second bedroom. Across the hallway is my bathroom, but small deck. This actually is. If you stand there, basically there's a toilet behind the door. Bathroom. Shower. Man products. 
I look at the mirror, you can see Lorraine in her standard chartered accountant, Dubai Marathon shirt. And if she turns around, if she turns around, turns around, you can see on the back <laughs> that she did. Oh, it's backwards. The standard chartered Dubai Marathon. And I got a better look. I'd hate to bank with these people. The amount of money they spend on these events, like, you know, the Hong Kong Cricket Sixes and stuff. Well done, metalhead. Yes. All right, bathrooms, all the switches are outside. So if I want the hot water heater, I've got to, this one. If I want the lights, it's this one. And that, there, they don't think to put all the lights inside. And with all these bathrooms, there's not one PowerPoint inside them. So no, which is really hard when you want to blow dry your hair, isn't mm, it, honey? Yes. Okay, Megan, please notice. What's up? It's up. It's up. Air conditioning, we've got air conditioner in this bedroom which does the two bedrooms, which does the two bedrooms, <laughs> and air conditioning for the main. I don't really think the air conditions work properly for the think, I don't think either of them are working at the moment. Yeah, so this I mean it might work there but not here, but it's cool enough for the night. So this is the main bedroom. It's a bit of a mess, sorry. Um, so I mean it's all, simply like that last place in Guangzhou, everything's very white. Put another mm. carpet up on the wall. Which we which was preferred. my choice. Quite a nice one. Then. So this is a modern silk one. It's again Iranian, but it's uh, it's it's the pattern is not very traditional, and it's uh, a new one. So, and the good thing is with all these things hanging up, I only bugged up the first one you saw as far as holes in the wall. So there's only one extra hole in the wall. Um, Built-ins again. Clothes, oh yeah, built-ins. Clothes just back from the ironing people downstairs. So plenty of wardrobe space. Mm, lots of shoes. And a couple of um, drawers. Through here we've got the ensuite, which has become the raised bathroom. And again, all the switches are outside. Much bigger bathroom. Um, they all, the good thing is, with all these bathrooms, they have a little... It's a bidet, honey. Well, they've got one of these things. Yeah. And those are great. So but they're you know, actually a bidet as well. That's so you can sit over the toilet and do it. Yeah. There's actually, whoever shares the staff bathroom at work does that, but they always seem to. They always leave water all over the toilet seat. Yeah. The entire toilet cubicle, so you end up feeling like you've been for a swim. Bathroom. Bathroom, I'll get out of the way. Yeah. Just the sink it. with all my crap on it. <laughs> and don't forget the crap underneath. All right, so it's yeah, the bathroom. Go there. Right, so that's the inside of the apartment. We'll take you to the outside. If you stay there for a tick, we've got on this bedroom and your bedroom. There's double spare bedroom. There's double lots of doors because the mosque. Not my is, bedroom. The mosque is quite close, and the idea is to deaden the sound because the call prayer happens a few times a day. So come this way. Directly across those tall buildings in the distance of Sharjah, which is a neighbouring emirate, we're fairly close. Yeah, I'll try and zoom in. Between us and those buildings, there's a little bit of water. Um, there you go, that's Sharjah. There's Sharjah, so there's water between us, and there's. There it is. We pay a whole lot of money, and a whole team of Indian and Bangladeshi guys to clean your car. If you look down, below along here, most of these cars are owned by some dodgy rental company. With the video, I'll include some photos so you can get an idea of how much water there was. But basically, the entire road was covered in water quite deep at this side and quite deep up there. We'll show some photos. And just that way there, this is the car park for the mosque, which is pretty much right next door. Yeah. And unlike a lot of the others, and unlike our first apartment, if we come around this way a bit, we've got a veranda that runs the full length of the apartment. So we've got our bedroom, second bedroom, our camping table, which we forgot to take camping, chairs, and we spent so long arming and arming about a barbecue that when we finally went to buy it, they didn't stop it anymore. The idea is we keep a barbecue here too, which we can fold up. And so it's a cool thing at IKEA, just as a way to add a little bit of privacy. We've got to get a plant out here. And this then takes us... Oh, on the screen. This then takes us back to the lounge. 
Ta-da. Things are happen.